Hello YouTube and welcome to another MongoDB tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to install Robo3T in Linux. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on the previous videos, we interact with MongoDB just using the Mongo shell, which is a command line program. Okay, but now I will show you a GUI a graphical user interface then can do the same thing but this time using a graphical interface so you go to your Google and you tap just Robo3T and here we go we are in the official site so the name of course is robomongo.org slash download okay so this is a program that can help you to actually perform any task in MongoDB. So Robot3T is the free version, okay, which actually personally I use, but there is also a paid version called Studio 3T. But we will stick just with this version here, Robot3T, okay. So all you have to do is to click on this button here, Robot3T, and actually you fill in the information and you click download okay so in order to download the binary files for Linux okay so now let's go to the shell and show you the following steps so here I'm on the download directory so if I do list you can see that they have downloaded actually the file which is tar gzip file okay so here i'm using version 1.4.4 okay so when you actually download this file all you have to do is to follow these steps so actually you have to extract this tar.jip file so i will just copy the first command here tar Okay, so let's paste it and give the name of my file actually here. Okay, here we go. So actually this command will create a directory called robot3t1.4.4-linux-x86-64 okay, and so on. Okay, so the next step, as you can see here, is actually to create a directory called user local bin robot3t so we'll create this robot3t in this path here okay so let's do it let me first clear the terminal here we go and then we have as you can see here we move the newly created directory into this robot3t directory okay so let's copy actually just first parameter because here they are using an old version and i'm using a new one okay then the path to the new directory here we go here I have to add slash asterisk because I want to copy all the content of the new created directory to this path here okay here we go it's done let's see the following steps here we have to change the directory to this bean directory inside robot3t so let's do it here we go so you can see now that the prompt has changed to bin which means we are inside user local bin robot3t bin as you can see here okay and now all we have to do is to give permissions to the newly created directory and we'll use this command here change mode plus x which means we gave permissions execute permissions to this newly created directory here we go also it's done 
So once done, as you read here, you are ready to use Robotry T or formerly Robot Mongo because previously this version actually was called Robo or Rob Mongo, as you can see here. Okay, so we'll just use this script here to launch our program. So here you can see this is the GNU general public license. We have, of course, to I agree. So next here, you can share your uh, address with the uh, robot 3T in order to update or use updates. So I can fill in, for example, Chris, last name, it's uh, green. The email address is Christopher of course F green okay and here you can use your uh, phone number if you want and the name of your company okay now so let me just minimize all this thing here so you can see it very clearly. Okay. So here you have this dialog box, Mongo connection. So actually I'm running uh, MongoDB as an instance or Docker container. So let me show you that. Here we go. If I do, for example, sudo docker ps, you can see that I'm running a version of MongoDB as a container here. I'll use the default actually a port which is 27017 and also I have mapped to any address so I can connect to the local host. Okay. So in this dialog box it allows me actually to create a connection. So I will just hit this button here create. And of course, I have to choose the type of connections. So by default, it's direct connection. I can give it whatever name I want. So let's call it just test. And of course, the address is localhost. I'm using the default port, which is 27017. Okay. So I have to save that. And now you see that this parameter has been saved to this dialog box. So all I have to do is to connect now. And here we go. So you, you, you see here that I'm connection name is uh, actually tests. And you can see here the different databases that we have. So we have the system database, the config, the test. And remember for the test, we have some actually collections that we have created previously. So you can take a look at the previous videos to see how I did to import these collections actually. Okay. So for example, for the restaurant collection, you can just right click on it and view document if you want. So this is the view, the felt of view, but can you, but you can switch to any view you want. If you click here, for example, you see the text mod, okay. And of course, here in the above window, you can actually enter any uh, command that you want, so as if you, uh, as if you are working in a shell or in the Mongo shell. And of course, there is a help that is displayed. Okay, and if you want to execute your query, all you have to do is to click this button here or press counter, control, enter. So here I press DB or I type DB and it gives me the test because by default you are in the test database. Okay. And I found actually this user interface very interesting because it allows me to do whatever thing I want, but in graphical way. So let's press, for example, counter, enter. And here we go. You can see the different uh, 
actually databases we have the admin the config the local and the test uh, database that we have created so let me switch to the test here we go or test just test okay here we go and I can execute any command for example dp that restaurants and you see you see here the interactive shell so let's use for example the find method and let's execute that and here we go you can see the different uh, document inside our data or our collection which name is restaurants and of course here you can switch the views for the text view which is more convenient is the default one when you are using shell okay so that was just a brief introduction to this uh, robot T, which is a free and open source uh, and also cross platform so you can install it in windows in linux and also in mac and allows you to execute queries and do some administrative task if you have a mongodb instance running in your system but you can of course connect to a remote one using just the file here and create okay so all you have to do here is to fill in the different fields and connect to your mongodb instance okay so that was just a brief introduction how to install actually robot t in linux as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye